Okay, so this is going to be a four card you pick. I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. If you uh, haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be a four card oracle you pick, one, two, three, and four. So you may want to take a minute to uh, get your thoughts together, decide what questions you're going to ask, and, um, and uh, just get yourself set up for the video. I tell you, sometimes I just wish I had a roadmap to tell me what was going on. And so maybe this will be a little bit of that. But uh, so um, clear your mind, you know, take some deep breaths, stop the tape if you need to. Uh, go to the kitchen, get a cup of coffee, make yourself a cup of tea. Just take your time and come back and sit down, and then we'll go through these four choices. Four card oracle, and then with a nice dyadic cross finish to sort of uh, expand whatever the um, the answer might be. I'll say so. This is a grand or tarot grand lux, tarot grand lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box. And uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and, you know, handheld. And, you know, it's just another of uh, Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use. And they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards. But if you watch my channel, you do. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the all over them, and um, and so I don't know. I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, tarot grand lux. Some funny thing that I always want to say grand lux tarot, and um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. Okay, four card oracle. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and this is a time for you to organize your thoughts. Figure out what's important. Uh, maybe, hmm, maybe take a deep breath and let it out slowly. That is so good. I know what they call those cleansing breaths because that really always feels good every time I do it. So, um, four cards, one, two, three, four. You can pick one or two or three or all of them. And uh, just know uh, what, what you think you want to get out of this. Sometimes it's a surprise and something comes up that you hadn't uh, considered. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, you can stop the tape. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We chose number one. Okay. This is the five, six, seven, eight of swords. And the eight of swords is really feeling trapped in a way. What's interesting is that you've got the light and you are you can move forward with, with trust. But uh, yeah, this is feeling uh, trapped. And this is a no card, by the way. Let me write that down. Nope. If you chose number two, then this is the uh, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords is 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 someone who you don't want to mess with. Okay, she's going to take this issue, this truth, this justice, this rule, this law, this um, uh, maybe it's even a nurse with a needle. But they're going to take this and they're going to do what's uh, right for that. So that is a yes card. If you chose number three. What is this? Oh, the Six of Cups. Oh, this is great. So Major Arcana. These are. This is um, 
Oh no, it's not the that is, it's not the major account of thinking of the lovers. But the six of cups is remembering how things were uh, in your past. I wonder if there's a lover involved here for you. But uh, so yeah, remembering a better time, a simpler time, a purer time with those full uh, cups. That's a nice yes card. We chose number four. Then you've got this five, six, seven, eight of wands. So this is a lot of stuff. These are actions uh, that are are happening. Okay, they're fruitful. They're plans. They're uh, they could be rules, but probably not. But they're they're actions. They're, it's movement uh, in a in a big forward uh, moving. Yes, it's coming uh, motion. It's a big yes. Okay, so now we do a dyadic cross for each one, and so this is the signifier card. If you chose number one. And that is the Eight of Swords, really feeling restricted, you know, and um, it's not always easy. It's like if all of a sudden you find yourself in a dark room, the electricity goes off and boom, it's pitch dark. And you know where you need to get to, but, you know, you don't you just feel like I can't do that. Well, you can. Of course you can. So we just need five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And the challenge to that restricted feeling is going to be this page of wands. Okay, there's an idea, there's a message, there's an offer of a plan or a movement uh, uh, of, of something to get us going in the right direction. So the challenge to that is a very helpful page of wands. The uh, base of this whole thing then is the Nine of Cups. And so that's great. That's a lot of emotional bounty on display. Okay, sometimes called the greedy merchant. So, you know, there was a lot of opportunity for feeling this restriction, probably. And then the past of this uh, reading with this Ten of Wands is a heavy load. This fellow is burdened. He just feels like he can't make another step. But you know what? Usually if you stop, take a breath, get yourself in order, maybe leave, put a couple of these things down. You can do it. Just come back and get the rest later. So this Ten of Wands in the past was a heavy uh, push. Uh, the sky this reading is the uh, 13 card. So this is death. This is the end of a cycle. Something new is going to start. And so we know that, listen, whatever this difficulty is, it's just about to end. And it'll be over. And then we'll do something else. And the likely outcome of this whole thing with this eight of coins is practice. This is the fellow who's learning his 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 craft. Okay, He's studying uh, what he needs to know. He's got a beautiful display here and some good work here. And so, you know, this... Um, no card can become a yes um, with work on your part, okay? Otherwise, everything will still move forward, you know, not to worry. And then if you chose the two cards, that's the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of you know, Swords are truth, rules, justice, could be um, health. Um, and uh, this Queen is someone who you want to say, okay, I can follow you. You look like you know where you're, where you're doing, where you're going. Okay, and guess what? That's you. So five, cool. Let's do that again. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The challenge to that queen in charge of her actions is uh, this, uh, wow, this king of coins, so the king of value. So this guy's saying, listen, I know what is the right thing to do. And so that's the challenge to this queen who feels as if she, uh, he knows what's the best thing to do. He would think he knows how to get the most value out of the situation. And this queen is a little forceful. She's saying, but, you know, I know what's right, and I know how to get this done. I know what the law is. The base of this reading, then, is the king of coins. So how do we have two kings of coins? Oh, okay, this was a knight. So let me look at, think about that again then. So this is the knight of coins. And so the knight is saying, listen, okay, so he really is sub, has to uh, acquiesce to the queen. So he's carrying this value, and he's saying, I, and, but look, he seems even bigger than that queen. He said, I know how to get this done. He's anxious to make a show of his uh, ability to get this done. Okay, and the queen is saying, I am the one who will direct the motion. And then the uh, base of this reading uh, with his king of coins is having a background of full value. Okay, so not much insecurity there. The uh, past of this is the uh, major arcana, the 12th, which is pretty, pretty far down the line. And this is the hang, hanging man, they refer to it here. So it's getting another perspective on this, almost feeling like a clown or a performer. But if you twist around and look at it the right way, then you get another way to think about this idea. 
and in the sky of this is strength. So know that that's uh, with you to make that decision. And in the likely outcome of this, with this Ten of Wands, is, well, you know, it may be a hard push. But sometimes when we push ourselves to the very limit is when we achieve a little bit more than we thought we could. And this one I was just telling you, this guy can get this done. You just need to take a rest, maybe put a couple things down, and come back and get them in a minute. But this can get done and put you ahead of the schedule in a better position. Okay, that's number two. If we chose number three, that is the Six of Cups, you know, kind of wanting things to be how they were, you know. It, that was fine. I like that. And uh, why, did, why do things have to change? Um, and uh, I just want to go back. That's kind of what that is. So the challenge to that, though, one, two, three, four, five, challenge to that is this ten of wands wow he's really working hard in this in this deck in this play uh this drawing today so yeah the challenge to remember the way things were is that we need to know how things are right now okay and then the base of this again we come with this eight of coins and the base of this is the knowledge or the study or the understanding um, the understanding uh, of what has to get done when you come in with a base like that. The past of this reading is the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords is making a choice, you know. Poop or get off the pot. So um, so that was the past, and so and we don't want to linger over the past too long. And in the sky of this reading is this Ace of Wands, a great big action of fire. Look at this, a fierce uh, offer of, let's get this action done, let's do it. Okay, don't keep fretting over the past. Don't worry about how hard it is because the likely outcome of the whole thing with this three of wands is long term planning. And anytime we can look into the future and say, okay, that's what I want to do, that's where I want to be, then we've been the master of our own fate. And that's a good thing. So that yes card is to get you moving the right way. Okay, there we go. Now, the last card in that lineup. Number four is that Eight of Wands. Okay, so lots of issues, lots of plans um, that are moving uh, in some direction. And sometimes that can be exciting, and sometimes that can be a pain. Okay, so let's see what's the challenge. Wow. I guess this time it's going to be a pain. These are too many cards to consider. And so we'll get them back in the deck. So the challenge to all of these issues, look at that, I dropped all those cards is just to, to, to emphasize, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, so what? You drop the card, you take a minute, get organized, get back on track, and look at that, we're shuffling, and we're going towards an answer. So that's what that Eight of Wands can tell you. Take five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. These cards have done their work today. So that signifier of that Eight of Wands, all that stuff happening, is challenged by this uh, Five, Six, Seven of Cups. And this is illusion and delusion. This is even a mysterious looking card. These beautiful golden cups, uh, different colors, and a misty five. So yeah, when there's lots of things coming at you, you know, it can be confusing. But let's see what the base of this is. The base of this is this king of one. So don't let all these actions uh, plans worry you because you, you come into this with uh, the wherewithal to make these things uh, work. The Page of Swords is making an offer. He's the messenger bringing this truth, this justice, this law, this medicine uh, to the to the game and saying, well, I, I have this. What can we do with this? In the sky of this reading is the Ace of Swords. And that's a great big offer of what the page is bringing. So whatever he's he's suggesting is something that's going to be very important. And then the likely outcome of this is this uh, four of coins. And the four of coins is holding on to your worth, you know, really uh, taking a minute to consider what you've got and what you're going to do with it before you do something else. So that's a nice, sturdy, uh, solid um, uh, yes out of something that could be um, worrying or confusing or, you know, something that seems like a lot of actions that uh, will throw you off kilter. Well, that's been the four cards today, and I hope something in there was good for you. 
So I hope that was useful. I hope you got some answers out of that or some inspiration. And uh, if it didn't work for you now, think about it later. If it doesn't work later, think about it tomorrow. If it doesn't hit you tomorrow, maybe it wasn't for you. Just let it go and we'll try again another time. Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.